Good morning. I want to show you the anatomic landmarks of an edentulous maxilla and mandible. Edentulous patient come for complete dentures. This is Mr. Ahmed. I've got a cheek retractor in. Basically, as you can see, I'm going to talk about two types of landmarks. One, the basal seat area and the landmarks in the basal seat. The other in the limiting structure. The basal seat, you have the incisor papilla that you can see here. Right? The rugae. And you can identify out here. This is, of course, the <laughs> allula ridge with the chibrosities in the back. Even here on this side, you see the chibrosity there. And you have the palatal surface. This is the palatal surface, okay? You also have the fovea palatine in the back here. So these are the structures that you see in the basal seat area. The limiting structures, is it okay? You have the buccal frenum here, very clear. You have buccal frenum on this side as well, very clear. You have the labial frenum here, very clear. This, between the buccal frenum is the between the labial and the buccal frenum is the labial vestibule. Behind that is the buccal vestibule. We have another labial vestibule and a buccal vestibule. Okay. I'm going to show you this. There is a depress there's a point that you can depress here called the hamular notch. It's there on both sides, it's an important landmark because you're going to pass from the hamular notch to the other hamular notch just behind the foveal palatine for an imaginary line called the posterior vibrating line. So that are the, uh, th those are the landmarks that you have in the maxilla and you've got to remember this when you're making the impression.